what do you think about the system? How does it work? You know, the, the system is, is a little bit complicated. Uh, if uh, none of the candidates uh, reach 51% on the choice one counting, then they go to the bottom uh, ones uh, that didn't get enough votes, and they eliminate them, and they start taking their second and third choices and moving them on up. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, and they're, they're thinking, God, if, uh, does the second choice uh, compromise my first? Uh, if I put the same name down, does that cancel everybody's out? A lot of those questions have yet to be clarified uh, by a lot of voters, and that confusion, I think, can kind of shortchange people's excitement or interest in getting a vote. I, I think number one is educating the public about the consequences of uh, second and third choices and and uh, what, what happens in, in the counting of those votes. I think if they understand that clearly, but. You know, a lot of people still are saying they don't understand what happens to their vote, and that causes some confusion. So uh, right from the start, the very first question is, is my vote good uh, on the second and third, or is the first vote the only one that I have to worry about? And uh, for us, we, we have to answer the whole thing, that it, it does matter uh, who you vote in the second and third. It does uh, have consequences, uh, especially if uh, uh, no one gets 51% in the first choice.